Well, good morning. It's a little bit before 6 o'clock a.m. Real quick video here this morning before I head to the office. You can hear that bird singing over this way. That's a cat bird. They have different calls. They make kind of a cat sound. Sometimes I'll do that meow, meow, like that. But then they do this other singing thing where they they are just all over the place coming up with different tunes. So a lot of people ask about the birds and uh, what kind of bird is that or whatever. Um, I know one of you made a mention about um, you heard a black cap chickadee. Yeah, we have lots of those here. But that bird that you're hearing right now is a cat bird. So now he stopped singing because I'm getting too close to. Well, there he is. But go ahead, you can sing. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, just want to do a video here on the issue of the Godhead versus the Trinity. And uh, I will say this if you do not believe in the Godhead, then you are lost and on your way to hell. And I can say that with 100% certainty. You know why? Because the Bible has the word Godhead in it. Um, I've had this thing put on me different times. People say, if you don't believe in the Trinity, you're going to die and go to hell. Um, well, that's kind of a problem, you see, because the word Trinity is not in the Bible. So, I'll say, let me illustrate my point here. Um, if you don't believe that Ralph died for your sins, uh, then you're going to go to hell. You say, well, that's blasphemy. That's, that would be total heresy there to say a statement like that. Uh, you know, Ralph didn't die for sins. Jesus Christ died for sins. That's correct. But you see, you're adding a word to the scriptures that's not there and then judging somebody's salvation based on your added word. How's that any different than what you do with the Trinity? See, I say Godhead. I wrote a book, The Godhead Doctrine, um, that goes over this whole issue. See, and yet I'm called a heretic because I don't believe in the Trinity. But the Trinity is not in the Bible. The word Trinity. See, well, it's, the Trinity is not in the Bible in terms of the word Trinity, but the concept of the Trinity is there. No, actually it isn't. Well, that's blasphemy. No, it's not blasphemy because you see actually the Trinity concept is blasphemy. The Trinity is saying that there are three different persons and that they all have their divine in essence, that they all have this unique characteristic that they're all God, but they're three separate persons. Um, no, that's not it. You say, well, then you believe in modalism that, that it's uh, um, one manifestation, one God, and he manifests himself different ways. I don't believe in that either. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that man is made in the image of God. Image, singular. Let us make man in our image. You say, well, us and our are, are plural. Yes, but image is singular. Okay. You see, the thing that's interesting about God is that there are three separate parts to God, just as there are three separate parts to man. Okay. You see me? How many of me are there? One. No, it's three. Huh? What? I have a body that you're looking at right now. I have a soul that you cannot see. The soul is invisible. If my soul left me right now, somebody shoots me from afar or whatever else, and bang, and I fall down, the camera's there, you're not going to see my soul leave my body. Okay, the soul is invisible. And I have a spirit. Okay, I'm not going to get, breathe on the lens or something, but that's spirit, breath, air, okay? I am three, you're looking at three right now, but just one person. Why? Because I'm made in God's image. So are you, if you're watching my video, okay? Uh, you're not able to live if you don't have a body, a soul, and a spirit. That's why God made man in his image, not images, plural, image, and yet it's our. So God has a unique ability that he can uh, separate body, soul, spirit. That's why Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. In heaven, the body and the soul are separate. That's why the Bible says that no man can have seen God at any time in reference to God the Father, because you can't see the soul. See? <laughs> see, that doesn't really make sense, but uh, <laughs> you can't see the soul, see? Uh, <laughs> excuse me on that one. Um, but... You get the point I'm trying to make here, okay? Um, the Father 
and the Son and the Spirit are three separate parts, but it's just one God. And this Trinity teaching, this heresy of the Trinity, um, first of all, it's not, it doesn't even go back the whole way to the New Testament writing time by their own admission. It was Tertullian in what the third century or something like this, or maybe it was the second century, I forget. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's just adding to the scriptures. And he comes up and he says, the Trinity is there, it's so important. The Catholic Church takes it and they say, and even I've showed it in my studies, that the Catholic Church in the Catechism admits that it has its origins in philosophy, not in the scriptures, all right? It's completely foreign to the scriptures. There's no word Trinity in there. Just as there's, just as there's no word Ralph in there, that Ralph died for your sins on the cross or something. No, Ralph didn't. Jesus did. All right. Um, and again, many people that would use the word Trinity believe in the Godhead. They just don't understand the bigger issue here. The Trinity is a pagan philosophical concept, a concept of three different gods, three separate persons, three beings. And again, well, person doesn't mean being. Yes, it does. Look it up in the dictionary. A person is their own being sentient being that has a body soul spirit that makes up a being a person you can't divorce that unless you live in nuttyville and you get spoiled by philosophy with this trinitarian concept so i'm not going to be able to stop people from being ridiculous and judging my salvation because i reject the trinity right i can't do that uh, i can't control people's minds you can write whatever you want but what i'm saying is you're wrong you're a heretic if you're saying, if you're judging my salvation because I reject a Bible or a word that doesn't even appear in Scripture. You see, um, that's ridiculous. That'd be like saying that um, if I turn around and say, well, then you need to believe in some other name other than Jesus Christ. Uh, that's not accurate. Okay, so um, I'll put a bunch of videos at the end here. Link to a bunch of videos on the Godhead issue. The doctrine of the Godhead according to the scriptures and uh, you can watch those and um, and the Lord will judge you for bearing false witness against me if you continue with this heresy that oh it's somehow um, this great evil that Brian Denlinger rejects the Trinity um, I reject a word that does not appear in scripture that doesn't make me a heretic that makes me a Bible believing Christian Okay, uh, God had appears three times in the book of Acts, the book of Romans, and the book of Colossians. All right, three references to the Godhead. All right, very interesting. Uh, Trinity, zero. God in three persons, zero. Persons, plural, not one reference in the King James Bible to persons being in relation to God. Person, yes. Singular, yes. There's a few references to God in the singular person um god the son god the holy spirit there's no scripture for that to back that up there are no three different uh titles for god or something like this uh no there aren't all right there's one god and one mediator between man and god the man christ jesus why because he is the flesh of god uh, again there's so many scriptures and once you understand this it will give you a greater love and a greater respect for the lord lord jesus christ and realize Wow, he was God manifest in the flesh down here walking around on the earth and people hated him and they rejected him. They're rejecting the creator, their own creator, God of heaven and earth. Amazing what happened there. You know, so I'm sure people will have all the you know questions and write a bunch of contentious stuff and whatever in the comments. Those are the people that are lost. Okay, um, if you're truly saved or if you're interested in true salvation you'll take the time to actually go and go through the scriptures with me this is a walk and talk video it's not a theological study i've done plenty of those hours and hours of study and putting out videos and things explaining all the fine details of the godhead doctrine and the godhead doctrine is from scripture right because why how do you know that because the is in scripture godhead is in scripture and doctrine is in scripture all right uh the holy trinity uh, the and holy are in the Bible, but Trinity isn't. So stop judging my salvation because I reject something that has no basis in Scripture. All right. So that will be it. Um, please do take some time to study. 
The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15. If you don't study the word of God, then you will be ashamed someday when you stand before God. And you will give an account, all you Trinitarian devils out there, you will give an account for lying about me. Saying that I'm some kind of heretic, that I'm rejecting Jesus or something to that level. No, I'm not rejecting Jesus. You are if you're a Trinitarian. You are the one who's wicked. I believe in the Godhead doctrine. You don't.